Hi, I'm Mona. This is this is like a wow, <laughs> right? <clears throat> so, oh, I just I just started the car because you know my uh, I need to charge something. Look at this guy. He's waiting for me to move him or play or do something with him. There's Chica. She always sits like that, like a princess with her arms crossed. She's so cute. <clears throat> Anyhow, so I'm, I'm here because, uh, you know, we're camping in this spot, right? Well, this is part of why, why I'm here. We're camping at this spot, you know, and um, <clears throat> this is a very nice spot, okay? And the people around here are excellent, nice people. Well, the ones that I've met, okay? Um, this is a five-day limit, and I always park, you know, I always park right here. You know, or on this spot, kind of by the tip benches, you know, you can park over there. But I made a mistake. I made a mistake. My friend is parked down there. I was like, yeah, man, I see people parked there. But you know what? I didn't know. I didn't know you're not, you can't park down there. You can't camp. It's open. Like, people can go fishing and, you know, but not for camping. And, and people have. People have. And I've seen it. But guess what? I just met the, uh, the owner of the property. He's a very nice guy. He's very nice, okay? You know, there can be people that come and you're not allowed to be here. Nah. But no, not this guy. This guy was very nice and speaking to me very nice, okay? Uh, he, he, he lives beyond there somewhere a little bit, right? Beyond that fire thing. And he owns this property and he allows people to go in there and camping. He doesn't want any boondockers there or, or people, not boondocking, what is it? Uh, homesteading. You know, when people overstay, this is a rule here, five days. And, and because that's a private property over there, he doesn't want people to, you know, be uh, homesteading there. You know what? That guy, I'm going to be honest with you. He's very fucking nice. Not only that, he's very generous. Because if that was my property, I would have all that shit closed off right there. No one can pass through. But he's nice, you know. So I went, I told my friend, I said, hey, I didn't know we're not really supposed to park right here during these days. He's being needy. He is being needy over there. Okay, that's all. He just wants me to go and pay him attention. But I told my friend, I said, oh, yeah. And, and even the guy told me, he's like, I should have put better signs. And he's went on Google and tried to say something. And I, I actually, I told him, I said, look, I found this spot from uh, freecampsites.net. Maybe you can go on there and say that a certain part is not for camping, you know, because I told him straight up, that's where I got it. So I told him, I gave him that information. Maybe he can, it can help him with, you know, strangers, you know, on the property, whatever. Because like I said, if he is being freaking generous, because if that was me, I would have that, that driveway like closed off. No one allowed it in private property and so this is what i'm saying like the people around here are freaking nice like i have no i no reason to be mean or mad or upset with anyone here even at the park place because even the maintenance people who take care of the very nice very nice the people who come fish here very nice this is called olivia the town of olivia texas um and yeah, so I told my friend and, and he was kind of like, you know, well, he should have put, you know, he doesn't have to do shit, <laughs> really. And, and, you know, I mean, and the guy was really super nice. Like, Sue, he's all, is that your van? I said, no, but I know that person. I said, I'm parked over there. He's like, oh, you're fine. That's a camping spot, but this is my private property. And he's like, he, he's seen him there for a couple, because we've been here using the, I'm using them for my five days, right? He came here a day after. So, I mean, he technically, if he was camping here, according to that, he would have to come here to, to do his rem remainder days. I would. If I go somewhere and somebody's like, oh, this part is, I am, I'm, even if the signs are not there, I'm quick to move. I'm quick to abide to anybody because I don't like conflict. I don't like complaining. I don't like complainers. And I just want everybody to be happy. And the best thing for me to do is to abide, especially when the other people are real freaking nice. How can you be mean to nice people? How can you complain to nice people who are, it's like they're offering you something, you know? 
anyways <laughs> so that's one thing that i figured out here so if you guys come to olivia hey terry's park you can go on that little island out there that's a very nice man's property you can go there walking fishing but not for you know he he preferred to keep it nice clean because he lets people go there and that's probably the reason why he keeps it open because it's it's maintained by the people uh my friend told me that some older people went down there earlier picking up trash so and that's you know <clears throat> so anyhow it's just uh, you know i'm just trying to say you know be grateful for the free stuff don't complain about shit when it's free be grateful be grateful that God has provided, you know, I mean, I know I'm sounding kind of, you know, but that's, it's the truth, you know, be grateful, never complain when somebody's giving something, even if it's not properly put out there, but they're nice, be nice back, be appreciative, be grateful. Now, the, the, the main reason why I wanted to, because I'm freaking grateful, because God is good. Because God has brought me good friends on my travels. Yes, he has. Or she, whoever God is, right? That number one. <laughs> but God has brought me very nice people. Met very nice. And look, the, the family I met here. I met a family here. Some very beautiful, wonderful ladies. I met some other people too. I, I met an older man. Some couple other. But these ladies. I'm going to be a secret. I don't know if they're going to have rushes. I think they're a little psychic themselves. Somebody in that group of those ladies is psychic and I'm going to show you why okay this is why okay Brian you can sit for a moment and wait until we're done okay all right <laughs> look I'm going to tell you why I think somebody in that group of ladies is is psychic it might be the mother it might be the daughter I don't know they are so freaking nice these ladies okay this is not the first time that they've done this to me okay and I mentioned them before, but look at this now. Bam! Look at what they brought me, you guys. These women. And and and, and look, they brought me a little Santa thing. I'm not very, you know, uh, Christmassy, but I, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm going to put it in one of my readings. Isn't that cute little Santa head? <laughs> right? But look, this is why I'm going to tell you why I, I kind of think that somebody in that group is psychic. All right? Yesterday... I went into town for ice. I just went to the, the grocery store and I thought if I needed to get something else, just, not grocery, uh, it was like a, a Stripes gas station or something like that, right? But I knew they had ice and, and little items I needed. And while I was there, I was like, shoot, I ran out of milk. Should I get milk right now? I won't have it for my coffee in the morning. Ah, it's okay. I'll just suffer. Look! A freaking thing of milk. They brought me a milk. Another thing was, like, I was I was walking through, because these stores, they have eggs and milk in there. And I was like, should I get some eggs? I was thinking about that. I was thinking that I wanted to get some eggs. Okay? But then I didn't. And, and, and I was thinking that because I also passed a sign on the road that somebody had chicken eggs for sale. Whatever. Or something. A sign of chicken eggs or something. So, Matt, I'll tell you what. They, they, they brought me something that, you know, I, I, I wanted to get, but I was like, oh, I don't, and they did. Look, I'm glad I didn't get it because then I would have two milks and then I would have extra eggs. So they kind of knew and they always give me the sweets, which is nice. I like it. Look at this. This is like a chocolate cake, chocolate cake, mini donuts, mini, mini donuts, mini frosted chocolate. Co oh my gosh. These ladies. And then they even popped me some, some freaking popcorn. And get this. Look at this. They don't, they're, they, they were thinking of the dogs too. You see that? You see that? Man, these ladies, they have like, they have like a ultimate supply of readings from me. You know, I do reading for them. I don't mind. I like them. They're so nice. They didn't, they don't even have, they don't even have to do that. They don't. But this is, these are the kind of people that I meet on the road. Like, I I know which ones to hang on to and which ones are not, like, you know. Like, I gave them my information. Like, people that I'm not to... I don't give them my information. Fuck no, man. I'm fucking weirdos out there. But I have met the, some really good... And they're... Oh, man. Look at this, too. Candy canes. 
Mexican candies, hell yeah! <laughs> I just noticed that. Hell yeah! And this that I can't wait because the daughter's gonna come tomorrow. I, I gotta ask her what is this? 7 Eleven pumpkin is that LTE is latte? Is that pumpkin spice latte? Ooh, I'm gonna ask. It might be one of those mixed drinks. Oh, I like that too, and I like pumpkin spice too, by the way. So I just wanted to show you like the blessings that come, you know, and this is, and I'm going to tell you why real quickly, real, real quickly, even though Brian's all tripping. The reason why I, I, I feel that I get blessed a lot is because I am grateful, plain and simple. I am grateful for everything. I'm grateful for good things that happen to me. I'm grateful for bad things that happen to me. There is possibility of always being positive. People are like, oh, those people, they're always so positive. How can you be po You can. You can be positive. There's no reason anybody need to be complaining about anything. There's a reason for everything, right? Take responsibility for your own actions. Take responsibility for your own emotions, too. People don't like to hear complainers. People don't like a sad face. And, and you know, people like happy people. People like grateful people. And you can tell these people are this way when you are. And when you are this way, you're grateful to life, grateful for the people around you, grateful for the good, grateful for the bad, grateful to God for all the blessings. Shit like this happens. And that's why I'm always on here like, oh, my God, I manifested another thing. It's because, like, shit, it just... I'm telling you, people are so freaking nice to me. Why? Because I am grateful to them. Because I love them and I'm kind to them too, right? Because that's how we all deserve to be treated to each other. Nice and kind. Ain't no reason to be crying or complain about anything. We're alive. We woke up this morning. Be happy, right? It doesn't matter. Life is good. I just wanted to share that with you that, you know, uh, I've met a lot of people on the road and, and I don't like them just because of this. I like them because I like them. You know, we chit chat. They're, they're smart ladies. They're good ladies. They're kind ladies. You know, they're, they're fucking badass ladies too. You know, like they'll be, they'll be in the farm and doing their eggs and making the, ch like those chicks are <laughs> badass. I just have to say that just for the moment. Okay. But they are, um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys uh, about what's going on here and about the blessings, you know, and I and I'm telling you guys, it's not like I'm showing off or bragging. I'm telling you how it's done. It's because you show gratefulness to God, to yourself, to others around you. Good things happen for you. Be happy inside. Be grateful you woke up this morning because blessings are at every single corner. I swear to you. If you keep a positive mindset, you will always have good, you know? So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and uh, dogs are okay. We're all okay. We're happy. Oh, and this I didn't show. I didn't show what is it. She made me something here. Let's see what is it really quick before I sign off, huh? Oh, shit. This woman, I'm telling you. <laughs> Look at that. She freaking made me tacos. I'm not cooking dinner tonight. I'm going to whip up something for the dogs, but hell yeah. And you know what? I don't I should have told her. She's an excellent cook, that woman. She's a very good cook. Whatever she makes, she's made me several different things, and, and she's a very excellent cook. I'm going to probably, if I don't see her tomorrow, I'm going to make sure her daughter knows to tell her, hey, to let your mom know that she's a very good cook, you know, because I really, I think I mentioned it, but I'm not sure. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for joining me for this moment of, of appreciation, basically, for, for kind people. I'm not just talking about the ladies. I'm talking about the guy, too, who's being very kind and generous, you know. Uh, this is the town of Olivia, and everyone I've met here has been very nice and kind. And